So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Trade and Play. I think we're in episode 7 and... We've got the first rewards for playing gameplay, uh, and that is, I think it's in like Div 6, Rank 2 or something like that. But what we are going to do is pick the tradable packs. Now the reason for this is because the majority of untradable stuff probably isn't too useful, uh, especially with a lot of the SBCs at the moment just being pack SBCs, uh, and the coins are boring. So as a result, we're going to go and take the, uh, the tradable packs, and uh, hopefully go and pack ourselves uh, a team of season. Yeah, Rank 3, Div 6, that's nothing too crazy. Um, then we got stuff selling on, we went and sold on the Doherty, which we got for 20, and the Lalo we got for, again, for like just under 30, I think, so, yeah, we had a successful selling overnight, but let's go and see what we're going to get, let's go and open that Prime Electrum, and then we're going to open up the 35, and see if we can get anything good. So, the Prime Electrum, I believe that's a Boards, if I'm not wrong, I think it's only a Boards, but it's not bad nonetheless, it's German, it's a Cam, Urzel, Royce, oh, no, 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 Royce, no, Royce is a walkout. Brand, but Brand is still worth about 6k, so that's not too bad. Because uh, all at the moment, all high rated fodder is worth something. So Brand's going to be worth something. Uh, that's about all she wrote. Yeah, nothing too crazy in the rest of that pack. Especially no Royce. But uh, whatever. Alright, let's go to the next one then. Mega pack. Not a bad first, but I'd say anything above 82 rating right now generally is worth a, worth a bomb. I don't believe that's even a board. So, yeah. Probably too many games. To go and get ourselves Brandt this week. Lovely. But uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, probably do a little bit of trading then go and buy the uh, centre back, which you guys decided upon last episode. So we've been doing a bunch of silver trading this morning. So we've got like Turnbull for 4.5, Nelson for like 9.50, Consa for like a K, this guy for 2.1K, this guy for 2.5K, uh, and so on and so on. So just got loads and loads of silver deals this morning. I'll probably go and do, I think I'm going to do one of the league SBCs right now, just so we can let a few things sell on, because what we are going to do is go and buy that centre back we asked you guys who to buy last episode. So we arguably have one of the best SBC, one of the best value for money SBCs is out This SBC costs 4.3k for a 25k pack. Insane, insane, insane. Uh, currently sitting on 66k, so we're about, what, 30 odd k off being to get us on YouTube? Or whatever centre back we might get. We still need to see, but I presumed it was it's on YouTube. But alright, it's going to get a 25k pack then. Can we get anything good? Can we excel ourselves getting closer to 100k? Survey says... 82 at least. 77! Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. So what I actually decided to do was uh, actually start doing some of the Premier League SBCs, if I'm going to do League SBCs, because theoretically, there's a few players in that uh, selection that we could either use in the team, or maybe use as a super sub. So. We start off here with Bournemouth. Uh, Bournemouth is going to give us a small prime players pack, um, which has going to cost us 5k uh, for a small prime players pack, which isn't bad. It also brings us up to 71k, getting very, very close now to um, being able to afford that centre back. Now, I was actually looking at the Premier League players, uh, and we're talking about it in the Twitch chat, that uh, actually, Maguire actually probably wouldn't do too bad. Uh, we don't, we'd have to go and replace Wan Bissaka, but he probably wouldn't look too shabby. Uh, and even Shakiri, I think, would be quite a nice super sub. Obviously, double 90s in, uh, in attacking stats and uh, five star skill moves. So. Not too sure about Foy from Myler, uh, both looking very, very out, uh, outdated as cards and such. But uh, yeah, the Maguire and the Shakira could definitely maybe be subs. But nonetheless, let's go and get underway with our uh, small little prime pack. Again, it only costs us 5k, so give us an 82 and we're not looking too bad. Yeah, sadly no boards in that. It's not the end of the world. Come on, be 82 rated. Oh yeah, good. So there you go. There you go. We should pretty easily get our money back on that. Maybe two 82 rated in there. Uh, we'll probably break even or something like that, but uh, yeah, we'll go and crack underway the next SBC. So we've got to done the Arsenal SBC, it's only cost us 5.4 for a jumbo gold pack, it's a 15k pack, minus the only thing interesting in a 15k pack, which are the rares, we basically get half the amount of rares, but let's go and see what we're going to get in it nonetheless, was it for 5k it'll be too hard to, it'll be quite hard to lose coins, he said. So we get ourselves... Guardiola, Guardiola, or Guardiola, Guardado, or whatever he's called. Yeah, nothing interesting on that. A uh, bunch of non-rares, hopefully a value. Yeah, obviously we'll sell on Rami's the sort of guy who sell on. This guy's the sort of guy who sell on pretty nicely. Um, oh, we get the Hawk Chem style as well. Yeah, that's a decent little pack, that. Um, 
yeah, very happy. We're going to get that sold on and yeah, just move underway the next SBC if we still can't afford the centre back we want to get. So we got the uh, next one done. Uh, 5.4k for a silver and premium players pack. So obviously right here, you're uh, hedging your bait bets on getting some of the expensive silvers. We're still just plateauing on about 70k, which is a bit annoying. So I wanted to get some sales and want to get some games underway and uh, buy on the uh, the centre back you guys wanted us to use. But nope, it's okay. Silver pack. Ugh, vlog slammer. It's not what I need. We need a 5k silver. Come on. Be good to me. Nope. Uh, you've got a league SBC. You don't have a league SBC. You don't. You Call a chini? Oh my. Looks homeless. College, what have they, college, wow, uh, anything in there, not really, you're used for league SBCs, you totally use for league SBCs, right, yeah, you haven't got that down, you're used for league SBCs, college, what, it looks homeless, and there you go, uh, uh, perfect hem link, beautiful, but yeah, nothing crazy, so we got a done Brighton, and uh, Brighton's only cost 5k for a rare gold pack, that's not bad, that's bad. Oh, let's try this again then. Uh, there we are. Oh, God's sake. Why is this happening? I don't get it. Oh, because I'm in submit. I forget. I'm submitting the SBC too fast. That's the thing. Oh, that's that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Sorry, I, I forget. No, it's because I submit the SBC too fast. Nice and calm submitting of the SVC. All right, let's go. Red gold pack, 5K. What are we gonna get then? Just be enough where we can be able to afford that centre back. I don't think. I think it's just like every other uh, 25K pack in this game. It's going to be uh, Vasquez. Yeah, let's go and sell him on. I might even do some silver sniping because uh, these SVCs aren't exactly increasing the coin total by anything too crazy. So maybe do some silver sniping. So, because we've got uh, so, so many wins uh, until I need to basically qualify for foot champs, I mean, that's still an insane amount of points. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll jump to a game even without the Ake. Uh, I'd say we're literally about 20k off, so all we'll take for a special or a few silvers to go and sell on, uh, or for a few silvers to sell on, and then we should be good. But there you go, this is what the team is looking like. This is what we're going to go jump to a game with. So, we'll show you guys the first opponent, uh, first and second opponents, and then obviously we'll just grind out games from there onwards. So, the first team we're playing against generally makes me want to not play this game. <laughs> 99 CR7. Oh, why? Nice. Nice. I, I'm not alive. Stop ball rolling goalkeepers nowadays. Unless I'm close quarters, I've stopped ball rolling them. I just heavy face shot them nowadays. There we go. Get Sane for Bernard. I could do, but Sane, like, the problem I have with Sane, just a boring player, isn't he? Sane and Marnie are just boring players in this game. Like, Screen Bernard at least is a little bit interesting. Nice. <laughs> He's insane. It's Danny Ings. Ah, <laughs> uh, re, re, boys. <laughs> You get, oh, he's going down the middle. You don't go that fast. Okay, no, he's not. There we go, boys. Here comes the little run right here. Ending the game there. Any tips to improve at FIFA? The more you play, the better you get. Second team of the day. Pretty uh, pretty on par with my team, to be honest. So, should be a good game. You know, it makes a nice change not being completely out-teamed. Nice. 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 That's the mad thing with Danny Ings. The amount of shots I score where I don't even have to be looking in the right direction. Where I wouldn't trust... There's other players I wouldn't trust doing that, but I'm very lucky with Ings because I don't even have to be looking in the right direction. Boom! Disgusting. Wait, wait, wait. The hill to hill flick thing is now a four-star skill move. Since when? So, we've uh, finally gone and decided to go and buy the centre-back. Now, looking at the comments from the YouTube video, 
Uh, it seems there basically is a resounding demand for Ake. I mean, you've got Ake, Ake, you've got one Soyuchu, another Soyuchu, another Soyuchu, another Soyuchu. Uh, they've got Ake. How much is this like? Soyuchu. Nothing interesting. Ake. Ake with 10 likes as well. Uh, Soyuchu. Ake, 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 Ake. Soyuchu. Soyuchu. Poor Mendy didn't get any love. But um, another Soyuchu. Let's see if we got any more for any more. But there you go. There are the uh, there are the comments, and I'll be honest with you. I agree it's 50-50, but most, you know, like, comment has Ake. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and roll with the likes of Ake. So, we've gone and picked him up after uh, finally selling on a bunch of the uh, silvers and special cards. We'll get back underway some shadow trading, I think, after an, uh, another game. But uh, there you go. We've gone and picked up the likes of Ake with an anchor. It is going to be so nice to bolster up this defense because, of course, one of the positions... Like, these centre-backs were getting bullied by, like, Team of the Season Nani. Team of the season, like, I, I get he's a team of the season card, but it's Narnie. So it was, it was a bit of an ugly one. So, uh, yeah, it's quite nice now to finally bolster up this centre-back. Or, sorry, bolster up this defence. I've got to take the other one out. And also, it is yet another uh, another quality of card, you know, making the team just uh, more colourful. But hopefully it's making it better over being more colourful. But there we go. That is the team. which is now going to go play loads and loads of games because I think we've got to win, like, 26 games a day to qualify for foot champs. Or if we can get promoted, then we have to win less games. But... Yeah, I think without further ado, we're just going to grind a bunch of games out and then uh, do a bit of trading in between the games or when players sell on. So I just kind of wanted to utilise the coins we had. So I've basically just thrown up the filter. 10k minimum by now, 18k maximum by now. Uh, special Shadow. And we managed to get ourselves a nice little Martinez here for 15. Uh, I'd want to say it's about 20k. Uh, because what we'll do in between games is we'll uh, just go and get ourselves uh, a nice little uh, a nice little uh, Shadow sniper or two. Martinez is one of these ones. One of these obnoxious ones. Order. Where is he? Lissandro. All right, so got him for 15k of a shadow. Yeah, looking at about 18. I think we'll get a pretty easy 20k on these. So uh, yeah, nice little 20. Well, 5k profit, 4k tax. Yeah, we'll wait for that sell on the play game while we're waiting. So literally after one game, the Martinez has already gone and sold on. So yeah, very very nice. Obviously, buying for 15, flip that for 20. Uh, but yeah, we're probably going to try and get one or two. Well, I mean, we can only really afford, but one more shadow deal, and then we'll go into another game. And we've managed to get ourselves another nice deal. We've got ourselves the likes of uh, UEL Fred. Man of match for 16k. That's going to go up for 21. Uh, likewise, another 5k profit with a 4k... Sorry, another 5k profit, 1k tax, and 4k profit after tax. But there you go. Not too bad. So we've uh, sold on some other special cards and bought some new ones. So uh, yeah, got ourselves Van Der Beek right here for 19,750. This is going to go up for 24, which is obviously a 4,250 difference. Uh, we've like a 1.2k tax, so... What's that? That's like a 2.83k profit after tax, if I'm not wrong. So there you go. There's a Van Beek we just got. Again, we, we got him under the deal of just going 10k minimum bid. Buy now, uh, 20k maximum buy now. And we saw the Medel who got for 12 for 16. So, yep, just a little update of how the uh, account's looking. So we got ourselves a deal on Chilwell. Uh, going for 20.5. Um, going to flip this up for 25. 4.5k difference with a 1.2k tax and a 3.3k profit after tax. So, lovely. And to be able to do uh, pick up the Chilwell, we've... Um, Sold on quite a lot of the uh, special cards. Now, I accidentally bought a uh, Hueke for 18, so just flipped him for 19. But yeah, the McGinn we bought for 20, the Beak we got for under 20, and the uh, Fred we got for 16 have gone and sold on. So, yep, good to see Shadow Trading, and finally we're going to be able to get a bit of a, a bit of a run with uh, Shadow Trading. But you can see we played about four or five games as well in the, in the meantime. So we've got three deals right here, so let's go and uh, walk you through them. First of all, we've got Wan-Bissaka for 24. Uh, so I'm for 28, I think I'll go 28.5, so that's a 4.5k difference, about a 1.4k tax. Uh, which as a result means, what, like a 3... 3.2k profit or something like that. Uh, next card we got is uh, Mendy for 32, so let's go and have a little look at that. Mendy for 32 and I think Guy for 25, so let's go see what we're going to be able to sell them for. Benjamin Mendy, picked up for 32, survey says... I mean, I mean these two literally have been listed in the last four minutes, so I don't think there's anything to worry about. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. So basically I can see that these two have been listed in the last, like, you know last literally four minutes so prior then the cheapest on the market was what 38 so i'll go 37.5 which is a 5.5k different and uh guy who we went and picked up for uh likes the 25k let's have a little look what he's going for okay again that was listed up 10 minutes ago can we get at least 30 on him i think we at least get 30 uh actually probably no probably go 29.5 so we're gonna be a 4.5k difference with a 1.5k tax and a 3k profit yeah, yeah, yeah. But there we go. Not uh, not too bad. What we'll do is really list them and wait for them to sell on. So using a bunch of the untradables in the club, uh, just while we're waiting for stuff to sell on, we've gone and done the uh, team of season generic SBC. Generally, it's cost us 1.8k. I think everyone apart from like four players in that team are untradable. So 
Beautiful. Uh, nice little free pack. Uh, in terms of coins, yeah, we're waiting for stuff to sell on. The uh, the chill well I actually showed you earlier as well sold on in a matter of minutes. So that's nice. But uh, I think we'll get this pack open and then we'll uh, carry on grinding out for Team of Season. Unless we get someone really good. Sorry, uh, grinding out for Ultimate Team. Not Ultimate Team. Weaken League. Ooh. It's a walkout. Hello. Ah, it's Kalon Navas. I mean, it's not bad though. He's 88 rated. No? 87? I would want to say 87, but I was trying to be optimistic. Not bad. I'll be honest with you, actually. This might give us enough money to do a little bit of shadow trading. Uh, anything else in there with him? It's Falco, Coleman, Pereira, Knockenhart, Gomez, Bruce. There are actually some expensive cards in there. That's probably about um, a 25-30k pack. Not bad. So, yeah, we'll go and sell this one and actually crack and do some shadow trading rather than gameplay. So, we managed to get ourselves another deal. Uh, Herrera for 20... Sorry, Herrera for 19.5. Gonna fit for 24. Uh, that's obviously a 4.5k difference with a 1.2k tax and a 3.2k profit after tax. But not too bad on the likes of Herrera. So, we're gonna sold on two more players. Now, I'm not gonna go and um, buy any more players because we've got about 20 minutes till 6pm. So, there is, uh, you know, no hurry to not have coins. So, I'm kind of... Gonna, I guess, gonna hoard my coins as such, is what I'm trying to say. But the guy who got for 25 and the men who got for 20, 32. So, uh, yeah, some nice little sales. So, we've gone and done Burnley. Burnley, I think, is gonna cost us literally about 4.5k for a, uh, for half a 45k pack. Not bad. It's basically a 25k pack minus half the rubbish. So, we got us at about 5 minutes for 6 pm. So, any last coins? I don't believe it's even a board. But it only costs us 4.5k. So,. It really doesn't matter. Anything in there? Val... I mean, Val Buena actually might sell on, but yeah, nothing crazy. Next thing you guys will see will be 6pm. So, just before 6pm, we've got about two minutes. We've gone and sold the Erican on, which is nice, because it gives us another 40k to work with, but roll on the 6pm. So, we've got 15 seconds until the last day of Ultimate Team Season is about to commence. Got 110k to work with. EA, what are you going to give us? 6, 5, 4... Three, two, and one. Oh, EA Sports, what are you giving us? Just another one. Rain to set players, Spurs are Everton players. Uh, let's see, players from the same league, maximum five, Premier League players, minimum three, Spurs, Everton players, one, Eredivisie players, minimum one, Netherlands players, minimum two, players from the same league, maximum three, Rare players, minimum three, minimum two leagues, players from one club, maximum, I don't think there's any crazy money on this, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any money on these, let me just do a, do a quick double check, but... Oh, silver players from the MLS, actually. Silver players from the MLS could do well. Now, sadly, I've played quite a quite a fair few games, but uh, I just don't think we're going to quite cut for foot champs. I mean, how many FIFA points, how many foot champs we're on? Literally got to get another 20 wins this evening, or 20 wins between today and tomorrow. So it's looking quite unlikely that we're going to qualify for foot champs. Uh, but nonetheless, we still have 150k. So what we are going to do is we are just going to spend that money uh on shadow trading right now because shadow trading is very very op and we'll go and show you guys what deals we managed to get so we got a first deal and that being a carver hound for 40k now carver hound is cheapest in the market if i'm not wrong it's actually 44k so uh yeah be interesting where he is at least with a shadow there we go if we can go and get this up right now so again we got us 40 i think the cheapest on the market is not looking too bad uh cheapest on the market is we go 46.5 2.5 k profit 4.5 k profit after tax so Let's go bang one up for 46.5. I think that'll be uh, pretty, pretty decent. But there you go. Yet another snipe. Didn't take too long. Um, we also, I think, flipped a uh, card very, very fast. And that was a kind of like a miss buy on the likes of... Oh, no. No, we still got him. Uh, yeah, miss ball... What special card? Uh, Donk for 25.5 and someone for 27. So no money on that. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a miss buy. But going to keep on doing shadow trade. Potentially another nice deal. We got ourselves a second informed Trent here for 38k. I can't imagine that's bad. I really can't. But let's have a look at how much uh, second informed Trent is going for. So it leaves us with uh, 66k. So we flip better. 30. Again, second informed. So first informed Trents are going to be popping up there. And even the Team of Year nominee. There is a second informed Trent popping up. But that card has literally just been listed. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to see. Let's get that one uh, still popping up as 39 and 45. Come on, don't mug me off. 
Got a few popping up here at 45. I think I might go 45. I mean, was there one? Was that the same one? Wait, I don't know. Let's do two, three, four. Mm, it's only four. Only four up until the hour, maybe six after the hour. So we're still banging off for 45. Not quite as good as I thought it would have been, but uh, in fact, I'll go 44 even. So 44 obviously being a 6k difference. Uh, sorry. 6k difference, uh, 2k tax, and a 4k profit off tax. So not as good as I thought it'd be, but uh, yeah, nice little profit nonetheless. So we got yeah another deal, and that is a uh, right back teaming in nominee Kimmich for 40. It's going to be get thrown up for 46, uh, which is obviously a 6k profit for tax, a 1. Th sorry, 2.3k um, tax, uh, therefore leaving us a 3.7k profit after tax. But a few more deals, and then we'll call it a night. And another deal, got ourselves a uh, inform Fabinho for 30k, we're going to go and throw that off a 36k, uh, that of course leaving a 6k difference with a tax of, what's that, like 1.8k which leaves us a 4.2k profit after tax, so yeah, not a decent deal, probably another one or two more deals and then we'll call it a day and give you guys a little, uh, a little option to pick on. And what is probably going to prop to be the uh, the last deal of the evening, and that is a Lala, who we've gone and picked up for what, 29k, it's going to go up for 34k. Uh, which is, of course, a 5k difference with a, what's that, 1.7k tax, uh, therefore a 3.3k profit off tax, so yeah, meh. Uh, it's all going to be thrown up for overnight for 12 hours. So now we need to go and decide what to go and upgrade the team with. Now, this is just going to be over that 50% um, of the price range, but uh, hopefully we are doing a lot, a lot of nice trading. Now, I've been playing with Aguero, and, uh, not Aguero, sorry, I've been playing with Son, and some probably gets on second, uh, on the ball second most to the likes of Danny Ings. And I'll be honest with you, his shot is just, it's not quite there for how often he gets on the ball and how many positions he gets in, uh, you know, gets shooting positions and such. So what I've decided to do is look at two players who are basically between 100, basically at the high shooting between 100 to 200k. Now this player is going to play as my middle cam. So these are the two options we've got. We've got seeing the group stage. De Bruyne, um, again, this car comes in at about 190k. Those are his in-game stats. Of course, he's carrying that five-star wheat foot, which is massive. Or we go with the likes of Record Breaker Aguero, again, coming in at 190k. Here are his in-game stats. And basically, you guys can see that the shooting is just pretty, pretty decent. Of course, I'd throw probably a shooting chem cell on them, because even though Son's got a hunt running, I still find his shooting uh, pretty, pretty horrible as such. But uh, yeah, so these are the two players we have, of course. Aguero's got the pace um, and better shooting stats as such, and even better dribbling stats. Uh, whereas De Bruyne is sitting on the five-star weak foot, better, way, way better passing stats as such, uh, better physical and uh, and so on and so on. Obviously, a default cam as such. So, I need you guys to go and choose: would I go for De Bruyne or would I go for Aguero as my middle cam as such? But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the shadow trading. Um, even though there's some nice skill goals in there as such. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. And maybe we'll be able to push for a foot chance qualification either this week or next week.